Hey there guys, uh, welcome to another video. Um, sorry it's taken me so long to make another video, but um, anyway, I wanted to do another update on the uh, box of phones that I purchased a week or two ago. Um, a lot of them had proprietary charging ports, so I wasn't able to actually charge them with the ones that I had. So I ended up purchasing this, and it's a universal battery charger, basically. Um, you're able to, if you're able to take the battery out of it, out of the device, you can use this and it has the two contacts for your positive and negative. This opens. So I was able to get a lot of them charged, which is really cool. Um, it also has a USB port on the top. So for five bucks, this was a good deal. Um, so I did, I, I charged a lot of these phones. So just wanted to go through a couple of them now to show you. Um, so I'll start, I guess, with the cooler ones. So um, this one here, wipe off the screen here. This is a Windows Mobile HTC phone and uh, it's pretty cool. So it has a two megapixel camera, has Windows Mobile on it and it was Verizon. It also has a keyboard here. Um, and as you can see, it has the Internet Explorer button, your mail button, um, and send a Windows, uh, the start button here. Okay, and then two buttons that go along with whatever you have here. On the side, you got the power button. Um, I'm not sure that may be an infrared button and your camera button right there. And then on the other side, you do actually have, instead, if you don't want to use touch, you have the little scroll wheel on the side as well as an okay button on the side. So if you want to use that, you have a messaging button and then you have a Wi-Fi off and on. So let's go ahead and turn it on here. Now, I'm definitely not sure if a lot of these will hold their charge, but I thought it would be, uh, you know, pretty cool to at least get them to turn on so I could show you guys, you know, some of these phones because some of them are pretty cool. So this one does take a little bit of time to start, but you can see the nice little Verizon startup screen there. And the Windows Mobile. And just to give you guys an idea here, I will just uh, show you the mess of my desk. So these are all the phones here. All right, and so there you go. So if you're familiar with Windows Mobile, you'll see here it has the uh, little start screen. And this definitely would have had a pen, but it is gone. Um, but you do have your little start button here. And then you have all these little applications you can use. Nothing really works, so um, the camera does work. Eventually. <laughs> and you can see it's, you know, two megapixels, so nothing crazy there. You can use your finger if you want instead of a stylus. Uh, you have a calendar here. You have a, I don't, I don't even know what the back button is here. You're, you actually have an on-screen keyboard you can use. If I can actually click it. Uh, let's see, yeah, so you have a little tiny on-screen keyboard if you wanna use that. And then it even has Git applications, which doesn't work. So, yeah, but it does get Wi-Fi. Um, I can't, I did try to see if there's updates for it, but there, there was no update for it. So, but you do have these little nice, you know, email messages and stuff like that. And then when you turn it, <laughs> it eventually gets to where it's supposed to be, but it is a pretty cool phone. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice. There's actually like the two stickers that covered the slider here are still there. <laughs> So this thing is at least like, you know, 12, 13 years old. So that's pretty impressive. All right, so that's the first one there. All right, another cool one here is this, uh, I probably should have cleaned these a little bit. Uh, so this is like one of those flip up kind of phones and it has a touch screen on the front um, and then when you open it, you have a keyboard and a screen on the inside. And uh, I did see quite a few of these. Um, there are two. 
that I have. So you have this one that looks more like a traditional phone on the outside and the inside it has the keyboard and the screen. But I thought this one was more interesting. So I did, uh, did get this one charged. So um, on the front here, it is a resistive touchscreen. You can definitely poke at it and then you can see it flexing. Um, on the side here, you do have your volume buttons and up and down camera. And then I believe this is a lock button. Um, and then you have a micro SD slot, headphone jack, and then their proprietary port. On the front, you have the send and end button and the clear button. And you can see that they there are no buttons here, but it is the earpiece. And then there's, I believe, a speaker maybe in here, but they did make it look uniform, which is nice. And anyone who had Verizon at one point knows about the Vcast. They know about you know Verizon Navigator and stuff. But here we go, this is a little home screen. You hit touch to unlock <laughs> and you have, um, you can actually change this wallpaper and stuff. You have a messages icon here and then you have a phone icon there so you can, and it does have haptic feedback, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you have your little menu. So you can actually do, uh, I think just a couple things on here. So, but you can go through the settings if you wanted to. And then on the inside, that one has another screen. And uh, the screen's really nice on the inside, honestly. Um, you have your two buttons here that correspond with whatever's on the screen. You have a send and an end button here. Um, and you can, you know, do the same menu here. So you can send a message here and if you wanted to, just send a text message. I haven't used one of these in a while. <laughs> But yeah, a uh, pretty cool little phone. So you can use the touch screen if you want. I think you can send a text message on it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. New message. Yeah, so you have this kind of weird message thing here. So it's kind of like the uh, T9 kind of thing. So let me see, can you change it to word oh no quick text yeah so they definitely they definitely didn't intend for you to use this <laughs> screen to text but yeah so pretty cool little phone here and a really nice clear screen on it so i thought that was really really cool um other cool ones here uh, we had these Boost mobile phones, and um, these were basically Nextel phones, which ran on IDEN, and um, Sprint bought Nextel in 2004 or 2005, but then they ended up getting rid of the IDEN network um, in favor of using it for, you know, other, like LTE and stuff. So they got rid of it, so basically these don't get service anymore. Um, this one, I don't think I have the SIM card in, because you have to have a SIM for it to turn on, but... One thing that you, oh, will it not turn on? Really? All right, so apparently the battery is bad. I charged the battery on this for like hours, and of course now it doesn't work. That's a, that's a shame. But there were actually other, there were Nextel versions of both of these phones, but these are the Boost mobile versions. Man, I cannot believe the battery died on this already. This phone seems really new. So I was kind of surprised. Uh, let's see. Nothing. <laughs> well, the battery died on it apparently, but had a really nice screen on it. Um, has a, uh, what? VGA camera. Yeah, VGA camera on it. Got a little front screen. Look how thick that is though. All the next cell phones were thick, but they did take SIM cards. So I thought that was interesting. This one had a kind of poor screen on it compared to this one. This one has a really nice screen. I don't know how much this would have cost, but this one's in really good shape. So I don't know what the deal is, but they both took the same battery and I was able to charge them. So I was happy with that. Uh, let's see some other interesting ones that we have here. Oh, okay. So uh, Kyocera uh, made these phones here. And I actually had this in high school or middle school and uh, I thought it was a really, really cool phone. So the crazy thing is with these is that the difference between these two, 
Now they're exactly the same on the outside. I mean, the colors are obviously different, but you can see the difference here. One has a color screen and one has a monochrome screen. And I thought that was kind of crazy. They look identical, but then they don't have, they have different screens. So the, the color screen looks a little smaller on this one versus the monochrome on this, but it, and it's kind of poor <laughs> looking, but they, it's kind of crazy to see that they have the same button layout, you know, this uh, similar menu. Well, not really. The Virgin Mobile one has a different kind of menu, but I thought that was kind of crazy. Uh, no cameras on either. Both do have the little flashlight, which I thought was kind of cool. You just hold down the clear button and you got a little flashlight. Uh, anyway, I just thought that was kind of interesting that one had a color screen, one did not, and they were both literally the same, except for, you know, just this one being a Verizon one and having different, you know, different style on the front. So anyway, thought those were kind of cool. And they take the same battery too. <laughs> so same battery and everything. Um, I did have a couple of interesting ones here that were a lot. There was actually quite a few prepaid phones in here. Um, so I did have two. Let's see if this even turns on. Probably not. Batteries in there. A lot of the batteries in these are bad. So it's unfortunate, but it's a thing. I can't even get the thing back on. There we go. Anyway, this is a little Samsung from TrackPhone. That one doesn't work, apparently. I only had a couple of Samsung when batteries actually worked. <laughs> this one is very loud, but it, it is adorable. And as you can see, it says airtime due date 622-2007. Um, I remember these being sold, so this is a TrackPhone. I remember these being sold for $10 at Walmart, like forever ago. Um, it has a little tiny color screen, um, very small, very simple. Um, you could put a lanyard there if you wanted to. On the side, it has a little headphone jack. Their proprietary port for their charging. Little rubberized grips on there. No camera, no nothing. Very simple, very, you know, easy to use and probably lasts forever. Um, so I just thought that was kind of cool. So definitely a little cheapy phone here. And let me see. Um, that was not the only track phone. Oh, I have two of these. I forgot. Let's see if either of them will turn on. Okay. I knew one of them would. <laughs> so I, I don't remember what era this was from, but this is definitely another cheap phone. So it's got just, you know, plain back, no camera, no nothing. Service active through 2013. So, and you can see it has 649 minutes that cannot be used, which is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, small, tiny color screen, little rubbery buttons, and probably lasts forever on a charge. So, thought those were kind of cool there. Uh, let's see, I don't remember this one worked. This one is a Net 10 phone. I did have some issues with some of these phones because they require the original SIM card in them to work, which is kind of unfortunate. So, yeah, so a lot of them don't actually let me get to the menu. Yeah, so see, it'll say insert SIM here. But this one is a Net10 phone, and it has a little cheap camera here. It says Bluetooth on the front because they want you to know it has Bluetooth. Um, I don't know what era this came from. Very cringy, very, very cringy. Um, this one is another prepaid, I think. Yeah, so this is a track phone. Uh, yeah, so this one also does not have a SIM or it, maybe it has a SIM and it doesn't work, but I had the same problem with this one, which was really unfortunate. Yeah, so same issue with this one. So I can't even like look in the menus on these, which is just kind of sad. Um, another prepaid one, I think this one here is, uh, yeah, this one's track phone. Can't remember if I was able to get in it. Yeah, I was able to get into this one. This one I don't believe has a SIM card either. So we may just get that same, same message. 
But as you can see, it's got like a very small little screen compared to this one. Very tiny screen. Oh, 3,405 service days left. 16 minutes. Yeah. 16 minutes service days. But you can see it doesn't, it doesn't actually connect to the network, which is, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. But yeah, very, very tiny, teeny, weeny screen. No camera, no nothing. I thought this might be a light, but it's not. It's just a, I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe it's a notification light. I can't really tell, honestly, though. So yeah, so that's another one of the prepaid ones. Okay, so let's go back to, let's see, some more interesting phones here. All right, this one is pretty interesting. It's unfortunate that it's really scratched, but this one, um, I remember this from the early 2000s, and it is, it's nice and metal, and it's got the monochrome screen on here, singular, and it's got that monochrome screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it, the battery is dead, of course. I did try and charge these for a while, but it, it, they don't keep the charge because they are so old. There used to be an antenna that went here. I don't know <laughs> what happened there. But yeah, I just thought this was a cool little beastly phone. Also thought it was interesting that Motorola thought it would be okay to put the end button on the other side. Most phones had send here and end there, but they decided to put the end on the other side, which I think is just dumb. Another one of the Motorola's, is uh, this one here, this is another singular Motorola. This one's pretty nice. It's not metal, but it is pretty decent. This one probably won't boot. Yeah, probably won't, I figured. Um, but one thing about this one, it also has that uh, end key on the left side instead of the right. And then it has a really nice clear screen. And I thought that the screen looked really, really nice. Some of the Motorola's back, um, you know, back in the early 2000s had really clear screens. So I was really impressed with this. It had really nice deep colors and yeah. Um, and if we compare it to this kind of thing here, so this is like definitely budget budget phone here. This is a little Sony Ericsson. You can actually change the faceplate on this. Um, I found that out by this little switch here. Use that little switch and you can just pop it off. No, I'm sorry, it's this, this little thing here. You push this little button and you can pop the whole thing off. Um, it's a little thick does have an infrared sensor on the side. Um, I'm not sure what this was for, maybe the volume. And uh, it's no camera, no nothing, very simple. The screen on this is trash. Um, I don't think I have a SIM card in it, yeah. So it needs, a lot of these need SIM cards to actually like let you get to the menus. So that's unfortunate, but this screen is trash. It is terrible. Look at that. Oh can't imagine looking at pictures on that. It would just look awful. Uh, this is a Sprint Katana, I believe LX. So all the Sanyo flips are really cool because they have a nice click when you open them. Um, I was honestly surprised Sanyo made phones. I just remember them making TVs. Um, that was a Katana LX. So this one's not too bad. The screen looks like it's starting to go kind of bad, but um, it still gets service, has the correct date, has the correct time and everything. Um, does have a little camera on there, has a nice speaker on the front. Um, I don't know what the camera's megapixel rate is. Let's see. Let's see. It's probably, probably VGA. It looks pretty bad. But, uh, and I don't like the green. I don't like the green backlight. I think they could have done something better with that because I mean, this is a decent looking phone. It, like, it's pretty slick, but they chose green backlight. Anyway, so that one's pretty cool. We have this little pink Nokia. This one is a, uh, I believe AT&T, yeah. So this one um, may need a SIM also, let's see. AT&T. Nope. Not enough memory. I don't know why it doesn't have enough memory. I couldn't tell you. Um, and then this is Wednesday 1-10 of 2007, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> um, but yeah, this one is another little basic phone. And uh, it works. 
has a little music player, has a Bluetooth. My phone's visibility, active devices. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a little decent phone. Has a monochrome cr uh, front screen there and probably a little VGA camera. And it's in pink. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like pink phones? I'm just kidding, me. Uh, another Nokia that I have here, <laughs> it's so loud. Another Nokia that I have here that I got working is this little one from T-Mobile. And this one is from the five faves era. So it has little rubbery buttons on it. And as you can see, someone heard it, someone abused it. Now this one, um, oh, it does have a camera. And it also has a little mirror in the back so you can take a selfie. <laughs> um, it doesn't seem to retain its time and date, but it also doesn't have a SIM card in it. Um, but yeah, I think this one would probably be a decent little phone. It's really light. You have a little, a uh, little headphone. Wait, it doesn't have a headphone jack. That might be a headphone jack. I don't think it is though. And your charger's on the side and some other port, I can't really tell. But yeah, a little selfie camera, a little place for a lanyard, a little speaker on the back. So cute little phone. Let's see how bad is this camera. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> but this is a decent little, a little cheap Nokia. Um, let's see, what else do I have to show you here? This little, this is a little Verizon Samsung phone. It does have a color screen on the front. You know, very tiny. They made quite a few of these for different carriers and they're just, yeah, non-supported battery, but that's because I used a different battery. But you can see, um, if you guys remember Verizon from the early 2000s, they had a very uniform menu system for all their phones. No matter what manufacturer, they decided to use their own menu system. So every Verizon phone I show you will be similar to this. Um, it's just, I never liked that. I didn't like the amount of control the Verizon had over all these people and, you know, like they put the logos on everything. Like, okay, we have a logo here from Verizon, a logo here and a logo there on the back. Okay, like we know, we know you're Verizon. And then of course, you know, your background is Verizon. And then the menu system is Verizon and all this other stuff. I just didn't like that. So anyways, that's that one. Uh, let's see, another Verizon phone here is this one. This one is a bulk, bulky daddy here, but does have speakers on the sides here, which are kind of cool. Um, you have a small headphone port. I'm not sure if that's even a headphone port. Um, volume up, volume down, camera. On the side, you have mini SD. I don't think it has one in there. That'd be kind of interesting if it did. Does it? No. No, it doesn't have one in there. Okay, mini SD. And then you have this uh, camera button here. Uh, one cool thing is it does have a little, light, uh, little flashlight up here for the camera, but it also is different colors. So if we turn this on here, it starts up with Verizon. I just want to show you the lights because I think they're pretty cool. So yeah, so the one thing about this one I liked was the fact that it had really good speakers on the sides. You get that cool light media control on the front with a uh, color screen. And as I said before, you have that stupid Verizon menu system that they had with all their phones back then. So, just was never a fan of that. The camera, um, I don't think was very good, but we're gonna look at it anyway. One thing I noticed, it makes you wait a long time to start the camera. I have another LG that's similar to this and it does the same thing. It takes forever. This one may fail. Yeah, something's wrong with the camera on this one, unfortunately. But it has a nice color screen. I love the little color light there. So this one's very similar to that one. As you can see, they're very similar. Um, have the media controls on the front. Um, this one just has a regular flash. It doesn't have one of those special fancy flashes, but it's a little bit thinner than this one. Um, has the same controls, the speakers on the, uh, on the sides. And this one has micro SD versus mini SD. So this is probably a newer model for, um, from that one, um, but it is very similar. And as you see, Verizon had their logo on everything. I don't think they had it on the back here, but they have it on the front and on the inside. And then this one on the back, <laughs> on the uh, well, they didn't have it on the front on this one, but on the inside. And so it's a very similar screen. 
but it has the same menu system. See, same menu system here. Um, and it doesn't have a camera button right here like the other one did. So it has the speaker, your speaker on and speaker off. I don't see that being used very much um, or being very useful. All right, and this one does have a working camera and it is poor. 1280 by 960. So I'm not even sure if that's HD. I think it is. Anyway, that's that one. Another Verizon phone. This one's kind of interesting. This is an AudioVox. And I didn't know that they made phones. I believe it's AudioVox. It doesn't have the brand anywhere on it. But yeah, this one has a really poor color screen on it. But again, that stupid Verizon menu system on every single phone. So this one does have... Yeah, this one just has a black and white screen on the front, a kind of poor colored screen on the inside, nothing too fancy about it. Has a camera button on the on the side here. 640 by 480, so even worse than the other one. But it does have that flash up there, so not a bad phone. And it has a pull-out antenna. Fancy. Um, and let's see, another Verizon phone. This one is similar to the other one. Probably doesn't turn on because I don't have a battery in it. Yeah, but this one's very similar to that one. I did have a couple of these. See, I had another one of these here. This one um, probably doesn't turn on either. Yeah, a lot of the batteries were swollen, didn't work. So, oh yes, let me turn on. Oh, here's another Samsung. This one's a T-Mobile one. Yeah, I don't have enough batteries. I have to like take them out to use them. This is one I really was happy about because I wanted to play Snake. That was my thing. I wanted to play Snake so bad. So this one says Sun Suncom and AT&T. So I don't know if that's a regional regional version of a regional carrier or something, but uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. As you can see, it gets no service, probably because it's TDMA versus uh, CDMA or GSM. But you have your messages, call log, profile, settings, voice, organizer, tools, games. So this is what I really wanted was the games. So you got the games, and you got the snake, and you got the space impact, and pass and rush, and pairs two, and rock, racket, I guess? But yeah, so pretty cool. Made me very happy to have, made me very happy to have this. So um, I do have a couple other Nokias, but I couldn't get any of them to work. So disappointed. Um, this little LG, I was able to charge. This one has a micro SD, has a three megapixel camera. Uh, this one has the volume up, volume down, your camera button on the side, traditional front for a, you know, brick phone like this. But this one is a hot mess. Probably won't even turn on for me. I had a lot of problems with this one. Um, but this screen worked fine, and this one was like busted. This one was messed up. But as you can see, like it's a little rusted on the screws here, so I think something... I think maybe water got into it, possibly. Um, but anyway, so this is just a couple of the phones. I feel like I just spent like, you know, a hot minute showing you all these, but um, nothing too fancy or special. I mean, these two are really cool. I thought this was really cool. I thought this one was really cool. Uh, the Windows mobile phone. Um, and then obviously the differences between these two, one being color, one being monochrome, and then our Boost mobile phones and uh, all that good stuff. Anyway, if you've gotten this far, thank you for watching. Um, please like if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.